All right, so welcome back to PA Academy, and uh, this is the um, second example we are going to be looking at under uh, first angle projection. So if you missed the first one, you can just check the playlist on um, on technical drawing, and then you'll find the video here. All right, so just like I explained in the first example under first angle projection, so let me just do that. So just look at this uh, box that we are having. It. If I should position it like this and position it in isometric view, right? So if you are asked to draw the first angle projection, so you have to look at each of those faces like you are looking at them directly so if you are looking at this directly what do you see that is what you are going to draw if you are looking at under it like this you can see in this position you are not seeing the left you are not seeing the right you are not seeing what is on top or below it what do you see so that's what you are going to draw exactly so that's the concept behind the first angle projection and either first angle or third angle the only difference is the position of the angle so let me just mention that so in first angle projection after you have drawn your your front view so maybe let's just see our front view. Your angle is going to come this direction. Exactly. So this is for first angle. So if it is third angle, uh, third angle. So after you do this, then you continue every other step. If it is third angle, so instead of having your angle coming down like this, you are going to be having something like this. So that means in doing that, that means if this is your your front view or your front elevation, then your plan will be somewhere here. This will be your plan, and then your uh, and then your side view will be will be here. The side view will be here. Yeah, exactly. All right. So uh, if you are looking at it um, from the front uh, from the front view, this is what you are going to see. So don't forget. The next thing you are going to do is you are going to project um, all the fascicle and the horizontal line. So we are going to be having something like this. So these are going to be thin lines. So the same thing to the left. I hope it will also be to your left. I think it will be to your right if you are watching the video. And then, um, yeah, and this edge also. Okay, let me take it up a bit. It's too close to the circle. So from this edge also, and from here, all right. So that's the horizontal side. So let's do the vertical. So the vertical will look like this. And then from the circle also. Alright, so let's let let's do this. So okay, so let me just make the main uh, diagram board so that. Alright, so that's the that's the um, the front elevation. So the next thing is for us to draw the plan. So don't forget the plan will be just be underneath here, which is somewhere. So you can just um, give it any any distance. Need this time. I think I didn't mention it earlier. So don't forget the plan is when you are looking at it from the top exactly. So what do you see? So if you are looking at it from the top, you are going to see the full edges exactly. So let's draw that. So and don't forget the all these things are drawn. There's a there's a uh, measurement for it. If you look here, the, from here to here is um, 60, 60 that's six centimeters. So that means the length from here to here will be six centimeter, and then the length from here to here is forty. So that means from here to here, that means from here to here will be 40. Exactly. So all of these things, they have um, dimension. Probably, so I'm just doing a freehand sketch. That's why I'm not paying attention to it. All right. So when you are looking at it from the top, exactly. So you're going to be seeing all the four sides. It's going to be from here to here, it's going to be 60. From here to here, it's going to be 40. So now let's um, do all of the hidden details. Now, you're going to be seeing this line. So this line is going to, this line that comes from here to here and bend here. You are going to be seeing a straight line exactly what you are going to be seeing is a straight line so you measure from this place to somewhere here to give you your 15 then you draw your line exactly so um what else are you going to see so what the, another thing you're going to see is this particular um here from here you're going to see this line 
which is this particular line here before the uh, the line bend here that's if you are looking at it from this direction so you are going to be seeing this line here and then um what else are you going to see so then don't forget this circle here there's a circle at the center with a diameter of of one centimeter uh yeah one centimeter so let's introduce that so it will be visible when you are looking at it and then um so those are the details that you can see the other ones are the hidden details what are those hidden details if you are looking at it from the top you see these two edge from here and here then there's a line that comes across from here to the back of the drawing and also from here to the back of the drawing so the line that represents that is this particular line if you look at it from this point here towards the back from here towards the back so what you do is you introduce your short dashes so don't forget that the short dashes stands for hidden details exactly okay so basically i think that's just everything okay another thing there is if you are looking at it from the top remember that there's a circle here there's a circle here so the edge of the circle you have to show it that is this line here you have to show that edge of that circle and this is it here so it you just stop here don't forget the circle is just on this part here on this 15 centimeter side from here to here so you don't need to take it straight down so what we are having there is the is the plan so having done that don't forget we are dealing with first angle projection so from this point here you draw your 45 degrees the same thing on this side the 45 degrees then we do the usual thing you're going to project the horizontal lines to touch it so this and then from this circle to and then so you do the same thing on the other side so with thin lines oh, this is not even straight at all all right so having done that then you project it upward so this projection you will need your um your t square and your set square so this is just freehand sketch so but if you are doing it you have to uh, you need the help of your of your t square and then your set square so if your projections are correct if your lines are parallel and your projections are correct hmm, you are going to be the whatever length uh the length from this point to this point which is given to be 40 you are going to be having the same 40 from here to here without even measuring it before after means after you have done your projection and you introduce your ruler to check you should be having 40 from this point you should also be having 40 from here to here exactly the same thing here if you should measure it this from here to here should be giving you 40 exactly so if you are not getting 40 if you are getting anything 42 43 45 or more than just know that your lines are not parallel exactly so you have to pay attention to that all right, so now the next thing you are going to do is you are going to be drawing, you are going to be drawing our side view. Exactly. So now let's start with that of this side. Now the ones that will be here, don't forget this is, um, this is our front view. This is our front view, this is our plan. And our side view will be here. Side view, side view. So some can just say SV, side view. And some you see LSV, left side view, S, then RSV, right side view. All right, so in case you see some of those um, short notations. All right, so the one that will be on this side here is if you are looking at it from here, I hope you can see it. So if you are looking at the drawing from here, what will you see? So that's what you are going to be having here. And another thing you have to pay attention to is if you are drawing your, your side view, I think I mentioned in the last video, and you are seeing that the dimensions of the side view did not want to tally with what you're having here then there's a mistake somewhere in your drawing so what i'm trying to say is you might experience it in this particular example so now this particular example let me just give an, an idea of what this is going to look like now if you're looking at it in this direction you're going to be having a shape that looks like this exactly now if you try to draw it like this you will discover that the dimensions will not work exactly so what this also means is that if you try to draw the side view that you're supposed to have here if you should bring it here 
you might have a problem. Hmm? Oh, they need problem. All right, so that's just by the way. So just take note of that. So the side view on this side, we bring it here. So what can we see when we look at it from here? So when you are looking at it from here, you see the complete outline. Exactly. So we are going to be having this. So we are going to be having this like this. And then we are told, that means from here to here will be 15. And don't forget, from here to here is 15, which we've transferred here. So it's going to be to this point. Exactly. Then we bring it straight down. To this point here because if you check your drawing from here to here is 20 so you can see the essence of transferring those lines so you don't need to take any measurement here from here to here is already 20 so that means you're going to stop here you extend it here like this so this is the first thing you need to get which is the outline for this side view now i haven't done that so what are the other details that we need to indicate here now you see this line, if you are looking at it from the side, you'll be able to see this line to be a, um, an horizontal line. And this is from this point here. So this is it represented here. So it will be uh, a thick line. Exactly. So the next thing again is, is this circle. You cannot see it, but you have to indicate it because it's there. So what do we use? We use um, short dashes. And this is the circle here. So short dashes, short dashes. I hope you can see that okay so what else if you are looking at it so if you are also looking at it um the other in the details is this edge here this edge is not visible from the front but it's there so for us to indicate it this is this is the line so what we are going to do is short dashes and short dashes all right so if you're also looking at it from this you see there's a circle here you see this this opening here all right so we're also going to indicate it we're also going to indicate it which is this this circle that we're having here so this is here now we are just going to stop you are just going to stop here so don't forget this is also a tick line So we are just going to do it on this part because you can see that it's just only here is where we are having that circle. The circle did not extend down here, so we are going to just stop here. All right, so if you follow what you are doing very, uh, closely, so that's the side view for that part. So this is what our side view will look like. So now we are going to do the side view for this place. So that means when you are looking at it from the other end, exactly from the other end of the drawing. So this time around, it's going to be looking at, uh, they are going to be backing each other. So it's going to be looking like this. So if you're also looking at it from the back view, you're going to see the entire outline. So let's draw that. Okay. All right, so we have the entire outline. So the next thing is for us to um, show all the details. Now, if you're looking at it from the back there, you know, you're just going to be seeing a plain, um, a plain side, exactly. So, we are going to be having a lot of hidden details. The first hidden details we have to introduce is this particular line here, exactly. So, this particular line, you can see on this part here is visible. That means if you are looking at it here, but if you are looking at it from behind, it's not visible. So, we are going to be using our short dashes. Are we good? Also, this circle here, if you are looking at it from behind here, from this side, you will not see it. So, it's going to be short dashes here short dashes here for the circle so what else um okay i think um okay so now let's do this for for this particular place also from this edge it's going to be short dashes like i said if you're looking at it from that everything just going to be plain but we, are, we need to show the hidden details also this circle we are having here so this is the line for that circle so, so with this now basically we've been able to draw the first angle projection of this particular diagram of this particular drawing here. I'm thinking I'm going to have it hang somewhere here. So if you do your construction right, you should be having sorry, let me 
So if you do your construction light, you should be having something like this. I hope you can see it closely. So if you do your construction right, you should be having something like this. Exactly. This is actually drawn to scale. While doing this, I haven't figured out a mistake yet. So while I this line should this uh, short dash should just stop. Who is my pencil? So it should just stop somewhere. You do not draw it straight down. But every other thing you should be having something like this. So if you look closely, you see that there are some um, those um, horizontal vertical lines. They are very faint. You won't see them. So they are actually there. I hope you can see it. Exactly. So you'll be having something like this. All right. So that is it on the second example on that first angle projection. I hope I hope you got the concept behind it. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And um, if you're here to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on that subscribe button to subscribe. And I'll see you all in another video.